Hey guys, I know I look rough and it's because I feel absolutely terrible. I'm actually going to head into labor and delivery. This is not how I envisioned this day going. It is Sunday, August 23rd. It's 12.30 p.m. right now. And last night I had put the girls to bed pretty early. I wanna say they went to bed like at around 8.30. And then I've been like laying down on the couch after I put them down and I just like have been binge watching some shows because I haven't been sleeping that great because Benny has been gone for a while due to the military. So it's just been me and the girls so I haven't been sleeping that great so I've been um, like relaxing on the couch after I put the girls down and then once I'm tired I head to bed. So I guess last night I ended up dozing off on the couch because I woke up on the couch at like, I wanna say it was about 11.30 to midnight and I woke up to really bad stomach pain. For the past like couple of days, TMI, but I've been having the runs. I've been like in and out of the bathroom. I didn't like eat anything bad. It doesn't feel like a stomach virus or it doesn't feel like food poisoning or anything like that. It's just like my stomach has been hurting really bad and my rib cage area just feels like it's on fire and I've just been having like excruciating pain to the point where I am like waking up in the middle of the night. I was having like this type of pain a couple days ago and then it slowly started to go away. And then last night, like I said, at like 11.30 around midnight, somewhere in there, I had woken up to really like intense stomach pain. It doesn't feel like typical contractions that I felt. Like my stomach was wasn't like fully like tightening like it normally was when I was in labor with the other girls so I don't know like a part of me doesn't feel like this is labor but it's the pain is so bad that I'm a little bit concerned so I called my OB and she asked me what was going on and I told her all night long um, I was having like really like intense stomach pain like my whole entire stomach area just hurts and it radiates to my back nothing is really tightening but the pain has been like coming and going since last night i thought i could sleep it off and i thought i would be good this morning but when i woke up it was like excruciating i was having trouble like getting out of bed i tried sitting I tried like propping myself with pillows. I tried like sitting with uh, my legs crossed. That way I can try to like open up my hips a little bit because I've been having really bad hip pain as well. I tried laying down on my back with a bunch of pillows propped up. I tried laying on my side. I tried putting a pillow like in between my legs while I'm laying down. I just tried everything and nothing was helping. Like I was literally in tears when I called Benny this morning because the pain was that bad. I So I jumped in the shower, called my OB and she asked me how I was feeling. I told her all of those. She asked me if I've been drinking water and I told her yes, I actually drank a lot of water all day yesterday. So she told me to definitely come into labor and delivery since I'm 30 weeks and just to be on the safe side, just to get checked out. That's what you guys saw me doing. I threw like a bunch of things in my hospital bag because I did not have that packed at all. I actually was planning on packing that within the next like week. So I kind of just threw everything together this morning. I jumped in the shower to see if that helped and it felt good when I was in the shower, but now that I'm out, I still feel the same. I'm still having like pain all in my stomach, pain in my back. So my mom is actually driving down right now and she's going to stay with the girls. And then my dad is going to be driving me to, sorry guys, I probably should put that on mute. Then my dad is going to be uh, taking me to the hospital. So I will keep you guys updated. I probably am not going to vlog too much in the hospital. If anything, I will use my phone just because I'm so like, 
I'm so stressed out and Benny's not here with me and as you guys can imagine I'm just like thinking of Everly and it's just it's really stressful I'll pick up dinner too All right guys, so it is actually the next day. As you can see, I've been discharged from the hospital. Hopefully the fan in the back isn't too loud and you guys can hear me. But basically, those were contractions that I was feeling. The pain that I was feeling in my stomach and in my back were <laughs> contractions. I was actually having them every few minutes. They weren't, um, they weren't extremely strong or anything like that to the point where i needed like pain medication they were still bearable but yes the pain i was feeling was contractions every few minutes which is so crazy because they didn't feel like typical contractions that i had with my other girls like i said but yes i was having them so they checked me they immediately had me start to drink water and uh, they gave me an IV so I can get fluids just to make sure I wasn't dehydrated. I don't feel like that was the issue because like I said, I've been drinking water non-stop. Water is basically like the only thing I drink besides my cup of coffee in the morning. But they decided to give me fluids anyways to see if that helps. Um, I was still contracting every few minutes with the fluids that I was getting. So they gave me a pelvic exam and I was not dilated at all, thankfully. They also ended up checking me for a UTI because that can actually cause you to have contractions as well. But that came back negative. So basically we don't really know why I was having contractions every few minutes. So they ended up giving me a shot. I forgot what the shot was called. It starts with a T, I know that. But they gave me a shot that hurts, by the way. That was a really painful shot. I had to get it in my arm right here. And thankfully, a little bit after getting the shot, my contractions were able to stop. So they got that under control. I wasn't in active labor or anything because like I said, I wasn't progressing. I wasn't dilating. My contractions were not getting stronger. They weren't getting like any close together. But I have been ordered to rest. I believe I updated you guys on here about my glucose results and my results did come back really low as well but my OB wasn't too concerned about it but they came back extremely low this time around too when I was in the hospital so I've been ordered some type of like powder medication that I have to put in some orange juice and then I have to drink that once a day it was kind of a crazy day yesterday as you guys can imagine I was extremely emotional because I haven't been in a hospital like that since Everly so I was having like a lot of like flashbacks from that and then I didn't have Benny by my side so as you guys can imagine he was freaking out as well he was like texting me the entire time for an update I also had an ultrasound but they didn't really let me see baby girl which is a huge bummer but she looked good as well they gave me the ultrasound to check like my kidneys to make sure my placenta was good to make sure her fluid is good all of that stuff so baby girl looks really good so they don't think i'm going to go into active labor anytime soon fingers crossed that the contractions stay away and i don't have to go in so as you guys are probably wondering where am i i'm actually at my mom's house Benny and my mom both didn't really feel comfortable with me staying at the house by myself with the girls because like I said I have to take it easy so I packed up um, our stuff really quickly and I'm staying with my mom for the week because Benny is still gone for one more week so I'm gonna vlog here and there if I can while I'm at my mom's so I will update you guys if anything changes but as for now, this morning I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not contracting anymore and it feels like baby girl has changed positions. It doesn't feel like she's all up in my hip anymore. 
So fingers crossed I continue to feel this way. Today is actually Layla's first day of school as well, of first grade, which is so crazy. So I might film a little bit of that if I can. But yeah, that's the update. I'm just so like exhausted physically and emotionally. So for these ones down here, you have to build and say the number. So you know what number this is? It's 451. I'd say start with the hundreds. Yes, start with the hundreds. Good. And you have to make 451. So which blocks would you use next? I'd use the tens. Good. Good morning, you guys. I'm sipping on my coffee and I'm about to do my makeup. I'm still at my mom's house, but I'm going to be filming a little bit today because I have my OB appointment. I'm 30 weeks, five days as of today. Today is August 26th. And I'm hoping for good news at my OB appointment since my hospital stay. I've still been having like stomach tightening. I haven't really been in any pain like I was that day, but my stomach has still been tightening a lot. So I'm not sure if it's just um, Braxton Hicks, but I've been having them pretty frequent. Definitely gonna mention it, talk to her about it, see what happens. I'm praying for good news today, but I'm gonna take you guys along and see how it goes. So I will see you guys in a little bit because I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. the next day i know this video is kind of all over the place but that's kind of how my life is right now so yesterday at my appointment my ob came in and she asked me how i've been feeling since i was in the hospital and i told her i'm not in any pain anymore but my stomach is still tightening a lot and i explained to her that i've been drinking water i've been trying to stay off my feet as best as I can I'm at my mom's house so I have a lot of help so I have been able to rest but my stomach is just still getting like really really tight so I'm hoping they're just Braxton Hicks but since I did hopefully you guys can hear me because it's windy since I did have to go to the hospital and I was actually having contractions she's still a little bit concerned so she basically put me on bed rest I can't stay on my feet too long, um, no physical activities if you guys know what I mean. So basically I just have to rest. She wants me to keep drinking as much water as I can. And then since I told her I was having tightening still, she ended up giving me an exam. So she checked my cervix. She said my cervix is closed, I'm not dilated at all, which is such a relief to hear because I'm only... 31 weeks as I'm filming this now. I'm 31 weeks today. So that's really good. I did not want to be dilated at all yet. It's still a little bit early for that. So she said my cervix looks good. And then 
she wanted to double check so she actually fit me in for a transvaginal ultrasound and she checked my cervix through there as well and that looked good but basically i just have to be on bed rest which kind of stinks because i have two kids i homeschool and rory is a toddler so i'm constantly chasing her and i have to go back to my house because i can't stay at my mom's forever benny actually comes back in a couple days so i'm not gonna have as much help anymore because benny does still work but i'm gonna have to just try to take it easy as best as i can but that is the update i will film a little bum shot for you guys at the end of this video but don't forget to give this one a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>